Festa in Scranton and boy, the party is in full swing. Question is, will a little rain possibly stop visitors from chowing down on their culinary favorites? Our Christina Shalhoop has more from La Festa. Day three of Italian food, music, and fun here in Scranton. And despite a little speed bump in the forecast, people here at La Festa say they refuse to let it rain on their parade or their porchetta for that matter. What could I say, Christina? Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. This weekend in Scranton, everybody gets a little slice of La Bella Italia. It's a little getaway for us and we call it, we're going away to Italy. That was the case for many of the folks who packed Courthouse Square on Sunday. The people, you know, there's a lot of camaraderie here. Festival goers like Lenore Spinelli say they wouldn't miss it for the world and they certainly wouldn't miss it for the weather. Rain or shine, would you be here? Oh my gosh, rain or shine. Nothing could keep us away unless we died. <laughs> Even with a scattered shower in the forecast Sunday and a bit more rain possible for Monday, La Festa certainly isn't in trouble in terms of attendance. Even when it's raining, we still come down and walk around with the umbrellas. Rain or shine, we're prepared. We have our portable chairs and then if it rains, we have a a bag that covers the whole chair. But the motivation is understandable. Oh, the food. Because it's the food. They come for the food and they love it. I love Italian cuisine. The Italian food, the Italian pastries, everything is delicious. Proving that whatever the weather, the 100% chance of deliciousness. Porchetta sandwiches and the lobster claw. It's spigadelle with cannoli cream in it. We'll keep people coming back for more. In Scranton, Christina Shalhoop, Eyewitness Weather. Tomorrow, by the way, is the last day of La Festa Italiana. The event started at 11 a.m. and end at 8 p.m.